Welcome back, Phasmophobia fam. So what happened in this video originally was I was going to do my last match of the stream, and it was on Nightmare Mode, and we went to Tanglewood, and I forgot all my gear. So I figured, uh, why not utilize this as an opportunity to make a video showing you how you can make a lot of money with no gear on Nightmare Mode as soon as you unlock it as a beginner at level 15, I think it is. Um, a lot of people stay stuck on amateur or intermediate modes, but I'm going to show you, uh, you don't even need to get the ghost correct. Uh, on on nightmare mode you can just go in there and use this method that I show you even though I must warn you the ghost in this match was not very cooperative most ghosts on nightmare mode you're gonna have a easier and faster time with so yeah this is just gonna show you how to make money quick so you can buy better gear and all that kind of stuff so I hope you find this useful and if you do find it useful make sure you join up with our community I stream on twitch every Monday Wednesday Saturday Sunday I have a discord with beginner players experienced players uh, people you can learn the game from play with all that kind of stuff and all that information is gonna be in the description we look forward to meeting you and uh, let's get to the video here we go okay so if you are a beginner Here's how you can make money fast in Phasmophobia. Once you get past, I think it's what, level 14 you need to unlock Nightmare Mode? Is that true, chat? Check me on that. Is it level 14 for Nightmare Mode? Is it? I believe it is, right? Level 14? Why are you all... So, chat is laughing at me right now because I'm doing this video improv style because I literally forgot all my equipment like a moron. But I'm going to show you how to make max money on Nightmare Mode. It's level 15. Okay, well, as soon as you unlock Nightmare Mode as a beginner, if you want to start making more money, I'm going to show you how to do it. You take this photo camera here. You don't have to spend any money to do this. So, no risk, all reward. Uh, if you die, yeah, you might be scared and you might pee yourself, which does have long-lasting, life-altering effects. But listen, you won't lose any money in the game. So you just take what they, what they provide you, like I did accidentally here. Camera, flashlight, um, maybe like a, like a UV. I'm going to show you how to get in and out real quick. So, Heather Barton. Not that that really matters. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna get our pictures on nightmare mode. If you can afford a second camera, that's even better because 10 photo slots is gonna make you more money than five. Um, definitely. So scout out hiding spots just in case, just like normal. Right through here. Know where the cursed possessions are on Tanglewood. Music box would be here. Uh, let's see if the bone's anywhere around here. Hiding spot back here as well. I want to get the, the keys in case the car alarm goes off. That really irritates me. Ghost mirror would be right here. It's not there. Still looking for bone. Maybe we got tarot cards. No, so it's either going to be a cursed object. I mean, it is a cursed object. Duh. It's either going to be a summoning circle, a Ouija board, or a voodoo doll. Breaker's on. Where's that bone? We need the bone. These flashlights are so not even close to as good as the strong flashlights. Oh, there's the bone. All right, so there's one photo. You know it's a good photo because in your book, it will have it will be labeled and have a star rating. You want three stars of everything, which means get close when you take the picture. Got our voodoo doll, three star there. Give us a sign, give us a sign. Now you wanna fill out your photos the best you can. You want interactions, um, ghost photo if possible. We could even use the voodoo doll to our advantage here, but I'm not trying to get hunted, I don't have any smudge sticks. But if you do get hunted and you die, guess what? You, you lose nothing. You lose nothing, so. Um, you can also use this kind of match, this kind of, you know, this style of play on Nightmare Mode once you unlock it to really test the game a little bit and get used to the maps more because there's nothing on the line. If you die, you don't lose anything. So if you wanted to get the cursed objects to mess around with them, it's a good time to do it. If you wanted to uh, try and say some crazy stuff to the ghost and hope it doesn't clap your cheeks, it's a great time to do it. The ghost just turned off the breaker. Give us a sign. But the quicker you can go, the better. You want to get your photo, photos filled out, and then get out and make a guess, basically. Give us a sign. This ghost is being particularly quiet. You would ideally want one that moves something. Let's bring some other stuff in here and see if we can get it going. We probably have a shade, ironically. 
But I'm trying to show y'all how to be fast and the shade just takes forever. The shade is the most boring ghost in the game by far. EMF, a spirit box, and a book. You don't get thermometers. You don't have access to the thermometer in the beginner, beginning gear. You don't get your smudge, any of that. Where are you? How do you... Give us a sign. Okay, that's... Discord alerts are annoying. Someone said cheese. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we're trying to do. That's actually an accurate depiction of what we're trying to do here in the game. We're trying to get that cheese as fast as possible. Where are you? Make a noise. Move something. Move one thing, ghost. If you have an active ghost, this will go so much faster because you can just take pictures of things that it throws. Potential fingerprints, all that stuff, like, super quick. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, I heard it. Right here. Alright, that's a, the EMF 2. Let's see what the... Oh, is that a ghost? Oh, ghost photo! Let's go, baby! So we got three stars of everything. One more, one more photo and we're out. One more photo and we're out. No evidence, though. That's EMF 4. Can you write? Can you write in the book? Give us an idea to guess. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Touch it again. Touch it again. Where are you? Do we have a DOS projector? Let's get that real quick. Yeah, if you had a second camera... And you can get in here and you have a ghost that actually does things right off the bat. You're in pretty good shape. You can just bang out as many good pictures as you can and get out and you're going to get money. I'm just actually sticking around here a little bit too long. This ghost is not being very active right off the bat. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Oh, what's a ghost event? That just drained 10% of my... We might get hunted here. If we got 100, that's not a fun time. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Where are you coming from? Touch something. This ghost clearly doesn't like to, um... Touch anything. It's near me. It's near this light switch. That's a hunt. This is an example of what you don't want when you're trying to do a speedrun for money. You don't want to get hunted by the ghost and have to hide. But I'm going to do that anyway. Right over here where I scouted. Luckily, I scouted that hiding spot out. That was close. Close call, huh? This is not supposed to go this long. Where did I hunt from? Over here? Or where did I drop my photo camera? There it is. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Okay, so it did hunt from over here. Move something. Which door was that? Hello? Hello? But yes, I'm showing you. As you can see, as long as you know where you're going to hide, you don't really need to fear nightmare mode so much. You really don't. I already got the ghost fitter, didn't I? Is that a hunt? Are we getting hunted right now? We're we gonna die. I'm dead. That was a ghost of. Oh my god! I had a feeling it just started moving right away. Dear Lord. 
This is not a good example of how, why not to be afraid of nightmare mode or how to do it quickly. This is the worst YouTube video ever. But you could imagine how good it would be if it was going correctly. You could imagine how good it would be, right? You could imagine. <laughs> I, oh wait, we already, yeah, I just have to pick, I can get out. All right, so we can guess the ghost. I'm gonna guess, I think I'm gonna guess Banshee. No, um, well, it's Nightmare Mode, so Nightmare Mode, you only have two out of three evidences. You can try and, um, you're not really gonna learn the ghost that well this way because you're trying to get in and out as fast as possible. This is an example. Let's see how much money we get here. I'm gonna guess, I think I'm gonna guess Banshee or Wraith. But it could be any of these ghosts. We have no evidences, but we, um, if we had, if you have the means to get the objectives, that's gonna be even more money. We don't have a motion sensor or salt because we didn't bring anything in, like a moron. So let's get out of here and see how much money we got. We could have been out of there probably literally five minutes earlier had we had an active ghost. There you go. $220. I literally did nothing. That's probably more than you make on amateur, right? On amateur, there's a 1x multiplier. So if you have uh, 40, 80, what do you get? Like 100 bucks on amateur tops? Is that true, chat? Confirm with me. I haven't played amateur in a long time. In a long time. So for the time spent there, $220 should be pretty solid. That's almost professional mode. Like, that's professional mode money. But on Nightmare, with, you know, hardly any time spent. See how much time we spent. About 120 on amateur, so we're doing, yeah, you can make a lot more money this way. Especially if you do it quicker than I just did it. We were in there for nine minutes, which is definitely not as quick as you want it to be. But buy the extra camera. Take it in there, and you can get even more money um, from the photos. Heck yeah. So, this this video is to show you as a beginner, not... Be afraid of your Twitch chat more than the game. Life lesson. But, yes, this video is to show you as a beginner player. Not to be afraid of nightmare mode and you can actually use it to your advantage to learn the game if you take nothing in there And to get a much bigger payout for doing less. So there you go. I hope this video helped you I hope you found this interesting it, I did this improv because literally I forgot to add gear like I was saying in the beginning, but um Hopefully I made some useful content for you out of that. Brendan. Thank you for the sub. Let's go and uh, see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching